the gamer from Gamers Match 101 here. So I'm gonna be unboxing today a figurine from the anime. How heavy are you? Are the dumbbells you lift? And the character here is Hibiki Sakura. This is a one seventh scale figurine. I uh, I don't know the name of the company who released this figurine. I'm guessing it's Bofol, Bful, Fots Japan. Don't quote me on that. I just saw the figurines and I found them look interesting and I did enjoy watching the show so I bought the two figurines this one and uh, Akemi Soryun Soryun so Soryun I apologize I uh, I can't I can't say that last name so on the side there I'm just showing you the box it says precautions and stuff you know obviously talking about maybe that, that number 15 there is probably not ages it's only for ages 15 and up because this isn't a toy, this is a figurine and uh, especially for the price point you're buying these for, I wouldn't recommend you buying these for kids. They tend to like grab it and you know, do shit with it. There's a figurine, uh, it's pretty small. Uh, I, have a, I think I have a ruler here on the side. The hair does come separate so you're gonna have to connect those when you get them. If you want, if you're curious, this was uh, the pamphlet it came with. It comes with a white base too, and uh, yeah. And I, I don't know if my ruler could fit in this. It can, so it's about almost nine and a half inches. That's my guess from my, me looking at it from this far, because obviously I'm not. You know, measuring it completely, but I'm just gonna guess it's around nine and a half. Uh, the dumbbells are delicate. I, th I think I messed one up. I moved the dumbbells around and it ripped uh, off her hand, so... You know, I'm not too happy about that. It's uh, the bottom ones, you can tell there's a little bit of a paint scratch. I'm not, I don't think the dumbbells are supposed to move, but I think I fucked it up. <laughs> but, you know, you learn your lessons, right? So... You know, it looks cool, and uh, this would look really cool next to uh, my other figures I have. And uh, yeah, not really much else to show you. This was uh, Hibiki Sakura, and we're gonna go up to the next figurine that I have from the same series. So this is Akemi Soryuin. Soryuin? Is that how you say it? And uh, she's also won 7th scale, uh, same anime series, same company who made the figurine. Just rotating here, I'm just showing you guys the box because, you know, I like to show the packaging it comes in before I show you the figurine. Because, you know, sometimes when I want to see, like, how the packaging is, because sometimes I want to, like, maybe I'm going to take it out the box or maybe I'm going to keep it in the box. Usually, bo usually figurines that, like, show the figurine, I tend to just keep them in the box because... There's no point in me taking it out, I can just look at the figurine in the box because I like to how the packaging is. So, same precautions and 15, I'm guessing not ages, 15 or below. Mostly 15 ages up because this is a collectible figurine. And uh, I wouldn't recommend it, like I said, giving it to a little kid to play with because obviously it's not a toy. So, this is a Kemi Soryuin. Uh, these are really delicate. <laughs> I opened the box and. Uh, one of the dumbbells were loose. Talking about um, the little heavy, like what do you call it? Like the base of it where it usually has the weight, not the middle stick, the... Well, whatever, it, it was off. Luckily, I nothing ruined, I could just plug it back in, but it's probably loose now. Uh, and especially the base connecting it to the clear acrylic base that it comes with, it's... um. It's gonna be a bitch taking it off if I want to put it back in the box, let me tell you that. But, other than that, this is a uh, Kami Soryu and she's, just, I think, the same height as uh, Hibiki's uh, figurine. Yeah, maybe around 9 and uh, 3 fourths. I'm guessing because she's a little bit more on her tippy toes or something like that. But if anything, yeah, this, these figures aren't really delicate. I feel like you could rip that uh, her hair there if you pull it like a couple, few inches. But yeah, I think it's same same size, same uh, company. Uh, it's giving me a couple minutes. 
She didn't come with instructions, so... You know, no instructions for this character, just the other one. I guess because there's not really anything I gotta connect with this figurine. Uh, I'm gonna be hopeful that they don't fall. I, I was able to put them both on the display, even though they have circular uh, acrylic stands. But hopefully the weight distribution I put them keeps them standing. That one's kind of shaking, Hibiki's. But yeah, so that was uh, Akemi and Hibiki's... Uh, are they PVCs? Figurines? From the anime, uh, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift? It's a pretty good anime, it's funny, you know, try it out. There's also, uh, I think a couple of references to some, some shows and movies. Uh, it's funny. But yeah, so anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna keep it here so you guys can see a little bit more of the figurine. If you missed anything, there you go. See you in the next one.